today i am going to discuss about the base of viscal this is cranial vault this is cranial vault and this is base of viscal anatomical position of this bone on human body frank foot plane lies horizontally which extend from the infraorbital margin in front and upper upper margin of external auditory meatus behind radius base line lies horizontally which extend from infraorbital margin to the central position central of external auditory meatus behind orbital opening these are orbital opening that lies uh, that lies in front alveolar process of maxilla which is marked by the socket of teeth of socket of teeth which lies inferiorly now this is cranial vault this cranial vault consists of different types of suture this is sagittal suture this suture the, the, here we see this is sagittal suture and this this suture is coronal suture sagittal suture coronal suture and the meeting point of sagittal and coronal is bregma the meeting point of sagittal suture and coronal suture is bregma and in here there is behind there is we cannot see here in this one properly but there is presence of the lambdoid suture behind the meeting point of sagittal and lambdoid suture is known as lambda okay the meeting point of sagittal and lambdoid suture is lambda what is the meeting point of sagittal and coronal suture is known as bregma now there is two view of base of skull this is superior view of base of skull whereas this is inferior view of base of skull the main important today i am going to discuss about the foramen this there are numerous foramen in base of skull structure that passes through this foramen okay first th the main important things i today i am going to discuss is the structure what are the foramen present from the superior view the main structure there are the this is the most important topic of this bone okay the main structure that passes through this foramen there are different foramen in this superior view now first foramen cecum this is foramen cecum and the structure structure is emissary vein to the superior sagittal sinus and foramen to the cribriform plate there there is these are the foramen to the cribriform plate and this passes to the olfactory nerve then the structure here we see this here here is optic canal okay here the third optic canal optic canal the structure that passes through the optic canal is optic nerve and ophthalmic artery superior orbital fissures this great opening is known as superior orbital fissures here we here we can see the superior orbital fissures in some textbook it it is divided superior orbital fissures is divided into three part medial medial and lateral part there are no need to divide it this into three and the structure that pass through the superior orbital fissures is olfactory nerve trochlear nerve ophthalmic nerve abducens nerve and superior orbital vein okay superior orbital fissure important structure structure they are oculomotor nerve trochlear nerve ophthalmic nerve abducens nerve superior ophthalmic vein and now this structure this foramen rotundum the structure that passes through the foramen rotundum is maxillary nerve okay now foramen ovale this oval structure this oval structure this oval structure is known as foramen ovale the structure that passes through the foramen ovale is mandibular nerve accessory nerve accessory meningeal artery lesser petrosus nerve and foramen spinosum this is small opening is known as foramen spinosum this here a small opening is known as foramen spinosum middle menin the structure pass through this foramen is middle meningeal artery and vein meningeal branch of mandibular nerve in this large opening this is foramen lacerum and the foramen lacerum is the structure that pass through the foramen lacerum is greater petrosus nerve behind this there is a carotid canal the main important is carotid canal okay the structure that passes through the carotid canal is internal carotid artery and internal carotid plexus now internal aquatic meatus this is internal aquatic meatus the structure that passes through the, this is facial nerve vestibulo cochlear nerve labyrinthine artery and there is below the internal aquat uh, opening of internal aquatic meatus there is the opening of vestibular 
aqueduct that is vestibular aqueduct into endolymphatic duct the structure that passes through this is endolymphatic duct and this large foramen here we can see this from is this foramen this from this foramen and this is a jugular foramen okay this is jugular foramen from this is a foramen the structure passes are inferior petrosus sinus gulf of pharyngeal nerve vagus nerve accessory nerve sigmoid sinus and posterior meningeal artery and behind this this large opening in the side of this opening there is a small foramen known as hypoglossal canal from where hypoglossal nerve passes and this large opening this is known as foramen of morgani this foramen of morgani div is divided into anterior compartment and posterior compartment the structure that passes passes through the anterior compartment is apical ligament of dense from the anterior compartment it the uh, structure passes apical lim ligament of dense and membrane membrane tectoria and the structure that passes behind uh, behind our posterior compartment is medulla oblongata meninges vertebral artery meningeal branch of vertebral artery spinal root of accessory nerve sympathetic plexus of nerve and cerebral tonsils this is divided into two part anterior compartment and posterior compartment and the structure that is i mentioned already Bef before discuss the inferior view and the foramen of inferior view i will discuss i want to discuss the fossa that is present of three cranial fossa in superior view anterior cranial fossa middle cranial fossa and posterior cranial fossa and the boundaries and content of this fossa is also important and the boundaries of anterior cranial fossa in front there is frontal bone in behind there is anter in behind there is anter anterior margin of prechiasmatic sulcus these are the anterior margin of prechiasmatic sulcus anterior clinoid process these are anterior clinoid process posterior border of lesser wing of sphenoid this is posterior border border of lesser wing of sphenoid and in the floor there is orbital plate of frontal bone this is orbital plate of frontal bone cribriform plate and crista galli of ethmoid bone cribriform plate and crista galli of ethmoid bone lesser wing of lesser wing and anterior part of the body of sphenoid this is the boundary of anterior cranial fossa and the content of anterior cranial fossa is frontal lobe olfactory bulb and tract anterior and posterior ethmoidal vessel not passing through the cribriform plate middle cranial fossa the posterior boundary of anterior cranial fossa and anterior boundary of middle cranial fossa is same that is post posterior border of lesser wing of sphenoid posterior border of lesser wing of sphenoid uh, anterior clinoid process and anterior edge of prechiasmatic sulcus posteriorly superior border of this superior border of petro, uh, petrous of temporal bone and do, dorsum cilia of sphenoid laterally greater wing of sphenoid parietal bone and squamous part of temporal bone in the floor there is the body of sphenoid greater wing of sphenoid anterior surf, anterior surface of petrous part of temporal bone and squamous part of temporal bone and the content of the main content important content of uh, of this is here there is presence of pituitary gland in between this and this structure here there is presence of the pituitary gland temporal loop loop of cellular hemisphere with meninges cavernous sinus structure passing through through the foramen i already mentioned the structure pass that from that from the structure where the pituitary gland lies is known as hypophyseal fossa this is hypophyseal fossa where the pituitary gland lies now the boundaries of posterior cranial fossa anteriorly there is dorsum cilia body of sphenoid basilar part of occipital bone this is basilar part of occipital bone and superior border of petrous superior border of petrous part of temporal bone posteriorly there is posteriorly there is a squamous part of occipital bone laterally temporal bone small part of parietal contribution of parietal bone also and in the floor there is clivus foramen morgani squamous part of occipital bone condylar part of occipital bone posterior surface of petrous part of temporal bone mest mestoid temporal mestoid angle of parietal bone content of posterior cranial fossa is midbrain pons medulla cerebrum now i am going to discuss about the inferior view of basophyscal these are the socket for tooth this is the maxilla bone and this is uh, this is the maxilla bone and socket for tooth of bone these are the alveolar process and this foramen this structure this is incisive foramen okay 
The structure that passes through this foramen is nasopalatine nerve and spinopalatine vessel. Nasopalatine nerve and spinopalatine vessel. This foramen is greater petrosus foramen. The structure passes through this is greater palatine nerve and this is lesser palatine foramen. And the structure passes through this le lesser palatine nerve and vessels. This is foramen. This is foramen ovale, okay. This is foramen ovale, the structure that passes, I already mentioned this. This is foramen spinosum, foramen lacerum, and this is carotid canal. The main important is, is structure passes through is carotid artery. Whole brain is supplied by the carotid artery, okay. And this is behind the stylor, this is stylor process. Behind the stylor process, there is stylor foramen. The structure passes through this foramen is facial nerve. And there is this is a master foramen. Today I, I, I discuss about this foramen of basophysical structure that enters emerges through that foramen and boundary and uh, boundary of three cranial fossa uh, and the content of that. If you like our video, please like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe our channel and. Uh, uh, give a comment on which topic I have to discuss uh, by seeing your comment I will make the next video thank you for uh, watching us